Miss Lily from the Guthrie Memorial Library, a part of the York County Library Systems. And I'm here today to show you a craft that you can do with materials that you have at your house. So today, we are going to learn how to make a dream catcher. And this is what it'll look like when it's finished. So let me tell you what materials you'll need to make this craft. You'll need a paper plate, some markers, crayons, or colored pencils, a hole puncher, a pair of scissors, some tape, a really long piece of string or yarn, a sh one short piece of string, and then three medium-sized pieces of string. You'll also need some beads, or if you don't have beads at your house, you could find some noodles or other things around your house that you could use to tie onto the tassels here at the bottom of the dream catcher. And also, if you have some feathers at home, you can grab some of those too. All right, if you wanna stop the video and go find all your materials, you can do that now. If not, keep watching and see how to make our dream catcher. Are you ready to get started? First, you're gonna take your paper plate, and hopefully you have one of these at home, and we're going to cut a circle in the middle. So, we're gonna take our scissors, and make sure your parents are watching you so you're being safe with the scissors, and you're gonna cut a slit in the plate, and then you will cut to this circle, outer circle right here, and you're gonna cut around, and cut out the circle. Just like that, and then you can throw this piece away. You don't need that. So once your paper plate looks like this, then you're going to need a hole puncher. And we are going to make a hole at the top of our plate. that and then we're gonna need three holes at the bottom of our plate so we're gonna do one two three just like that so now we have one hole at the top three holes at the bottom then what you're gonna do is take your hole puncher and you're going to make you're going to punch holes all the way around the inside of your circle, just like this, all right? And this is what we're going to thread the string through to make your dream catcher. All right, so when you're done with that, we're gonna sit this one to the side because I already have one made up. When you're finished with all your hole punches, yours is going to look like this, your paper plate will look like this. Then you're going to need a longer string and you're going to tape the string to the back of the paper plate. And now we're going to start weaving the string through. So we're gonna bring it up through one of the holes with the end. You can pick any hole that you want and we're going to thread it through the hole. Pull, 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 all the way through so it's tight, okay? So we brought it up from underneath. Then we're gonna take our string and pick any hole that you want to stick the string through and we're going from the top down this time. So you're gonna pull it all the way through until it's tight. Right, you're gonna keep doing that until you have your string through all your holes. Okay, I'm pulling it through tight. Okay, then I'm gonna go from the top again and pull it down. Again, you can just pick any hole that you want, as long as it's across or kind of across from the hole that you were just putting your string through. Okay? 
Okay, so I went down. Now I'm gonna bring my string up through a hole. Just like this. All right, I'm gonna keep going until I have all of my holes filled in. Great friends, so as you can see, I have my string all the way through, all my holes, okay? So now I have some string left over. You can use your scissors and cut that off and sit it to the side. And then we're gonna take our tape again and put another piece on the back. Just like that. Okay, so now your dream catcher looks like this. So if you remember what my finished one looks like, we still have to add the little tassels down at the bottom and our hook so we can hang our dream catcher up. So you're gonna need three more pieces of string for the tassels. Okay, and what you're going to do for that is take the end of your string and poke it through. We're down here at the bottom with the three holes put it through the hole and then we're gonna tie a knot. And your parents can help you with that part if you need to. Okay, and then we can always cut this down a little bit. You know what? <laughs> we can tie another knot. down through again. I'm gonna tie it through and I'm tying it two times. All right, friends, so now we have our three strings, or our tassels coming down from the bottom of our dream catcher. And now we can use our beads, or remember, if you don't have beads at home, you could use some noodles or anything you want uh, to put on your dream catcher. So I'm gonna put about five beads on my, on my first string and push them all the way to the top. One, two, three, four, and five. And then on this last bead, we're actually going to put a knot so we can hold it in place. So we're gonna tie a knot around that bead so we can keep it in place. Just like that. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do for each one of your tassels here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that.
All right, friends, so you can see I have beads on all of my tassels here. And I just wanted to say on one of my last ones, the yarn was unraveling. So I just put some tape on the end here and it helped me put my beads on easier. So that's some, a trick that you can do if your yarn is coming apart. Okay, so our last step, our second to last step, is to put our feathers on. So I have three feathers here. And if you don't have feathers at home, you can still do this craft and uh, just leave the feathers off of it, that's okay. Um, so what we're gonna do is take a piece of tape and I'm going to just wrap, hold my feather close to my yarn and wrap my tape around it to hold it on. Okay, just like that. It's gonna hold my feathers on there. Get another piece of tape. Right. Then we're going to take a smaller string and this is going to be how we hang our dream catcher over our bed. So this is what our top hole is for and you're just going to stick your string through, pull it through and then you're going to tie a knot at the top. And again, if you need your parents help with tying knots, you can ask them, I'm sure they'll be happy to help you. Okay, so here's my knot and now I have a little hanger. And then if you would like, you can take markers or crayons or color pencils, whatever you have at home, and you can decorate the outside of your dream catcher just like this one that I have here. Friends, I hope you had fun making your dream catcher. Remember to hang it over your bed to keep all the bad dreams away. Have a great day.